Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, Laura Elaine. I'm here today to show you how to store your kefir grains, both short term and long term. So I just have a mason jar here. I already have my kefir grains in there, about one tablespoon worth of kefir grains. And this is gonna be for my long-term storage. I have probably about a tablespoon worth as well in there. And this is gonna be for the freezer. So for the short term, just get a glass jar, take your um, milk, I'm using 2% and you can use whole milk or 1%, um, whatever, whatever you have been using. And I'm just gonna fill it up to uh, one cup. So the ratio you should use is about one tablespoon of grains to one cup of milk. This is for your short-term storage if you just need a break from doing kefir. And if you're going on vacation, um, this is good for about two weeks, 14 days, and we'll just pop this in the refrigerator. Then after two weeks, if I'm ready to resume, I'll pull it out. If I see that the milk has fermented, which it likely will have, the milk is good, keep it, use it. And then um, the grains should not take as long to be active um, or have to go through a reviving period as if you were mailed them or something like that. Um, so they should become active fairly quickly again, again once I take them out of the fridge. But if you want another two week break, just take the milk off of them, use it, use the kefir, and then fill it up again with another one cup of milk and you've bought yourself another two weeks worth of time there. For the long-term storage of kefir grains, I'm just gonna cover them with milk. They don't necessarily need a cup's worth. They just need to be covered. And, uh, and then I'm gonna pop them in the freezer and that should be good for up to a year, probably a little over a year. Okay, I have covered my kefir grains with milk and now I'm just gonna get as much air out of the bag as I can and seal it and then pop it in the freezer. Like I said, good for up to a year. Frozen grains will be more sluggish and take a little bit more time likely to get to that active stage again, but they should come around. And those are your two methods of if you wanna take a break from doing kefir, short term uh, in the refrigerator for up to two weeks, ratio is one tablespoon of grains to one cup of milk. And long term is um, just cover cover the grains, one tablespoon's worth or however much you want to freeze with milk and seal it in a container or a Ziploc baggie and freeze it. There you go. Hope that was helpful to you guys. And if you have any questions about kefir, leave me a comment down below. See you next time. God bless.